Dengan Lantara yang dengan buku Mengangkut Kusa kudaan Sering menindungi Spirit Islam Kukugapsur Nidut di kaya yang mengangkut Nah, kita bila aku mengambil versi si Tuhan di kusilang Mengalukisi sila mengabai Begin to go out slowly and slowly I know I see their faces Tapi aku sudah mengalau It's because glorious. Aku beli apa kah? Pertakut, namun, dipilih di satu sawah di luar. Bukan dipilih. Apa members? Di saat kami apa semua di sawah dipilih. Tinggal ko, kami tahu. Tinggal yang bangang dia, untuk Jesus Christ rose up, went up to heaven. The angel said, Why is I be gazing up into heaven? It's going to happen, it's going to come back again. And we're so excited about it, amen? There's nothing wrong with being excited, and we should, and we must be excited, amen? But there is a word to be done. Balik lagi siya, yun lang pati yung lalaho. Nay, yung lalaho. Nalil ka please, when you're right, we'll go to Matthew 13, Matthew 13, Matthew 13. Matthew chapter 13. Salamat, thank you, Pastor Ken. Gisalva. And thank you, Dr. Gisalva, for the opportunity that God has given me to preach God's word this morning, Matthew 13. Let us be reading verses 13 and to verse number 9. Matthew 13, verse 3 to 9. Matthew 13, verse, verses 3 to 9. Kani magwati sa ito, Lord, usali sa mga murag di pakuslan sa tayong sa high school, one time na ikutugan sa amin ko sa jail ng konsaksyon. Nga si ko pipot, di pa tangka kaya kung hibon sa mara, nagdanlayo. Nga agi si ko po, kita sa kong ibuha na si kilang ko. Mula ka doon doon, ay sa kagir ko si Jopi. Ang generalize ko doon, sa kagir ko si Pastor, na di gabi yung mga pili ko. Asal itu salah satu saya berkita bukuslan. Selamat adalah bukuslan dan tergamai. Nayaan. Nanti dari bersih tu nain dan sweet responsibly. Nanti dari bersih nain. Bible says in verse three, and he spake many things unto them in parables, saying, Behold, the sower went forth to sow. Verse five. Some fell on stony places where they had not much earth, and for wind they sprung up because they had no deepness of earth. <laughs> Verse number seven. And some fell among thorns, and the thorns sprung up and choked them. <laughs> Verse 9, the Bible says, Who have ears to hear, let him hear. I want to talk this morning on the important awareness of a growing Christian life. Important awareness of a growing Christian life. That's what I call the message of the Lord, we thank you for the opportunity that we have today, the opportunity of being together in your house, with your children to fellowship with each other, sing praises and honor to your name, exalt the most wonderful, blessed, holy name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Lord, if you have a great day, you have a great day, you have a great day, and our days today. Lord, please forgive us our sins and bless our minds and hearts. Lord, please open the hearts of everyone, everyone. And make us ready, Lord, to receive your word. Make us willing, make us humble, 
the sweet Holy Spirit of God, we ask to help each and every one of us. Help me, your Lord, as I give your word that your name will be glorified. Help us, Lord, that we would listen to what we are going to say. That, Lord God, we would be focused to what we are going to give to us this morning. In your word, may your name be glorified, my servant, please, in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 